Graduates, families and friends, it gives me enormous pleasure to address you all today. This year, the pandemic has meant that we're unable to celebrate in person with you. And I understand that you and your supporters will have been very disappointed by this. It's my sincere hope that at some point in the future, when it's safe to do so, we'll be able to welcome you back to the university as important members of our alumni community. Our graduation ceremonies are always a high point of the academic year, bringing together members of the university community and you, our graduates, with your families and supporters to celebrate your success. And this year is no different. Indeed, I would suggest that the extraordinary times in which we are living give us even more reason to celebrate your incredible achievements. And today the technology enables us to still come together from across the UK and indeed from across the globe to do just that, to celebrate you. Graduates, you know how hard you've all had to work to get here today and you know how hard we challenged you. Today marks the culmination of those efforts. At the moment that your names are called, I hope that you will feel as proud of us as we do of every single one of you. Over the course of this week's ceremonies, we will celebrate graduates aged 19 to 76 from 112 countries. The university is deeply proud of the diversity of nationalities that make up our institution and long may it continue to do so. Graduates, whilst you're undoubtedly the stars of the show, watching with us today are some incredibly important people. So on behalf of the entire university, I would like to thank your friends, your families and supporters who have been there for you in so many ways during your time with us. And I know that amongst us, there will be some of us who have lost loved ones in this past year. And I'm sure they'll not be far from your thoughts. Graduates, today marks a significant personal milestone for each of you. And I'd ask you to reflect on the fact that none of us ever truly stops learning. I hope that you will carry your experience with you that you've gained with us as you continue your career and wherever life may take you. Today marks a beginning and not an end. And we all look to you to shape the future. And you'll do so as members of an alumni network that provides you with a lifelong link to your fellow graduates and over 160,000 fellow alumni worldwide. The network provides advice and connections and a valuable community of support for you in the years to come. The alumni team, team are here, so please do call them, use your contacts. Don't forget to let the alumni team have your email address and give them permission to keep in touch with you. Importantly, also, please remember that our careers and employability team are here to support you with an offer of careers information, advice and guidance for life. They can offer support to graduates who are looking to work, are interested in further study and provide access to opportunities. So please get in touch with the team via the University of Brighton website. They are there to help you for life. In the time that you have studied with us, much has changed in our world. The scale and speed of change, in particular in this last year, is not something I think any of us could possibly have imagined. In that context, it's clear that the university and our graduates have a significant role to play in addressing the challenges that we all face. Be it the world changing impact of our research, our overwhelmingly positive social and economic impact and our crucial role in developing the professionals, the innovators, the leaders of the future. Graduates, all of you here today are the best possible evidence of the importance of education. For as much as we are living in a world facing challenges and uncertainties, it remains a world of possibilities and opportunities. In such a world, the ability to combine knowledge with practice, together with the personal qualities such as resilience, adaptability and creativity will only become 
even more important. The university will continue to play its part by ensuring that our research, our enterprise, our partnerships, our teaching come together to allow our students to develop the practical wisdom they need to thrive. Graduates, yours is the future. Use what you have learnt to make a positive difference and to help all of those around you. In doing so, I urge you to remember three things. Keep on learning, keep on believing in yourselves, and above all, stay curious. And allow that curiosity to open doors to new knowledge and new opportunities. Finally, I want to thank you for making the University of Brighton your university. You have made a mark and a contribution to making us who we are during your time, building memories and friendships along the way that will last a lifetime. Carry those memories with you as you journey and make your own unique mark upon the future. We are about now to begin the presentation of awards. Now, as your names are read out, you will appear in a small group on our virtual stage. It will be your face up there, so enjoy the moment and feel free to unmute your mics and applaud yourselves and your fellow graduates enthusiastically. I'd now like to invite the academic representative of your school to make your awards. Finally, from all of us at the University of Brighton, congratulations and thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Amanda Bright, Dean of the School of Arts. Welcome to the live streaming of the graduation ceremony for the School of Media and Brighton Film School. In a moment, I will read out the names of each of the graduates and you will appear on screen in a group. Please make sure you have your microphone on so that we can all hear your reactions and applause at the end of your group and again at the end of the ceremony. Congratulations. School of Media, Degree of Master of Arts, Digital Media Arts. Tamara Cantillo Obanchik. Ziyu Han. Jessica Pemberton. Thank you. Alexandra Stuart Hutchinson. Digital Media, Culture and Society. Zlata Konseva. Danielle Rurawe. Simon Treffler. Trelfer, apologies, Simon Trelfer. Everyone get that wrong this time. Thank you. Rebecca Wabwo Woba. Digital Music and Sound Arts. Amanda Brooks, <laughs> Olivia Louval Kendall, and Colleen O'Brien. Congratulations, all of you. Degree of Master of Arts Photography, Samuel Horn. Emma Madsen, Hannah O'Hara, Yafei Wang, Postgraduate Certificate, Digital Media, Culture and Society, Madalena Serban, Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Design for Digital Media, Sunny Canatella, Clarissa Caslake, Emily Hallows, <laughs> Lo Huntley, Bryony Kay, Mona Hyatt, Sophie Russell, Tyler <laughs> Vanderberg, yeah. and Yusuf Sabah. Congratulations to all of you. Ooh.
<laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Digital Film. Elizabeth Two. Bolton Hartree. Oh. Alexandra Buzikowska. Oh, Alex. Christopher Dunk. Oh. Thomas Etheridge. Oh. Oh. Alice Girardi. Oh. Charlie Knight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Adam Leonard. William Newbat. Yeah. Tanya yeah. Panunzi. <laughs> Caitlin Sluggett. <laughs> Robin Welsh. <laughs> Digital Music and Sound Arts. Joshua Bell. <laughs> Daniel Crump, <laughs> Angela Matthews, Samira Roy, Javier Sarmiento Cordova. Congratulations, all of you. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. <Is> that... <laughs> <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Film and Screen Studies. Grace Aitman. George Bates. Matilda Braven Ayres. Jasper Burling. Tilly Corbett. Alexander Davis. Daniel Farrell. Imogen Johnston, Joe Julian Nakesry, Harry Nichols, George Pearson, Lee Riddles, George Roberts, and Oliver Van Dort. Fantastically well done. Congratulations, all of you. Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Media, Industry and Innovation, Laura Morgan. Media and Environmental Communication, Charlotte Dixon. Henry Farman. Domkosh Kapati. Media Studies, Sophie Angus. Charlotte Beldum. Silvio Bernardo da Francesca, Olivia Britz, <laughs> Alice Burns, <laughs> Roshan Clark, <laughs> Taya Leone Kuss, <laughs> Hannah Davis, <laughs> Samantha G, <laughs> Hassan Javed. Benna Jones, Tommy Mahoney. Well done. Congratulations, all of you. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Media Studies. Maria McCann. Olivia Mary, Emily Morgan, Kira Mulcahy, Ian Norden, Ebra Woodford, Jessica Rami, Tamara Smith. Daniel Tuffy, yeah. Andrew Walker, Heather Wilkinson, 
and Sinead Wood. Well done, fantastic. Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Moving Image, Francesca Buckley, Joe Dunton, Vasilios Zigonas, Multimedia Broadcast Journalism, Christopher Dabbs, Kumi Fasanya, Liberty Gatkin, Elizabeth Hall, Sharon Martins dos Santos, Amarachi Umkonta, Tom Palmer, Mariam Shobuale, Kate Stewart, Ariella Taylor, Kelly Wong. Congratulations, all of you. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Photography. Mitty <laughs> <laughs> Allen. Ines Ambrosio Jerivas, Emily Bond, Harvey Flesses, Billy Hill, Millie Holmes, Matthew Hughes, Peyton Irving. Joseph Kelland, Zusha Kid, Eleanor Latham, Sharona Lawlor, Taylor Littleton, Lauren Mason, Laurie Morley. Benjamin Mueller Brown. Congratulations, all of you. Well done, guys. Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Photography, Leanne Newton, Rebecca Parker Lennox. Sophia Ramos, Holly Roycroft, Maria Shawinska, <laughs> Megan Watkins, Television and Di Digital Media Production, Amber Christison, Ashling Farrelly, Charlie Fosca. Karina Joygon Zales Brown. Sorry, Karina Joygon Zales Brown. Melissa Greenslade. Carly Harp Hamer. Lauren Jackson. Ian Poiser. Harrington Stewart. Alexandra Wadcher. Congratulations, all of you. <laughs> Brighton Film School. Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours. Film Production. Alexandra Anthony. Tony Billingham, <laughs> Joshua Brown, <laughs> Michael Dunbar, 
Zoe Fitzpatrick. Lloyd Green. Mitchell Green. Jonathan Horrocks. Armour Johnson. Hazel Johnson. Lauren Judd. Tina Kinch. Yay! Isaac Maddox James. Anna Males. Alex Marshall. Max McGorty. Congratulations, all of you. Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Film Production. Isabel Miller. Ooh. Oliver Muir. What? Mark Mulcahy. Lawrence Robinson. Ooh. Jared Russell. Gabriella Thomas, Jasmine Tony, Emile Tucker, Ashley Webb, and now our research degrees, degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Depoliticization of Desalination Discourse, Media Analysis of Hydro Policies for Climate Resilience in Israel, Shai Kassiria. And in recognition of a program of work entitled Sports Journalists and the Professional Crisis, Simon McKennis. Congratulations. Congratulations. That concludes the presentations for the School of Media. You will now have a chance to applaud each other again as we see you all on screen a second time. Enjoy.
Well done, everybody. There will now be a short address from the President of the Brighton Students' Union. As long as I can remember, our cohort has always seemed to be dealt some questionable cards. Changes in curriculums, linear examinations, competitive employment markets, the list goes on and on. In the year we were expected to revel in our successes, we faced a global pandemic, ongoing racial injustice and the escalating climate emergency. On this important day, however, it is right to take a moment to reflect on all of your achievements. So, what does graduation signify to you? I personally remember being a very ambitious little girl. I would dream of the day I would walk on stage with a cap and gown to become the first member of my family to graduate. I had no idea about all the adventures I had in store getting to that point. The challenging times of the assignments, the dreaded 9am lectures on Thursday mornings, balancing part-time jobs and caring commitments, social lives and studies, the everyday commutes for some, waiting on those cold platforms for delayed trains and buses, shared houses and the handful of drama that came with the cleaning rotor. Fifteen years later, my greatest achievement has been all the diverse skills that one can only pick up when faced with a little pressure. Resilience, time management, budgeting and sacrificing, the fighting spirit. Everyone has their own unique journeys through university, but we all could not have reached this point without the support of your family and friends. And I'd like to take a moment to extend my thanks to all your supporters who are watching now with great pride. My point is this, things didn't go our way or how we had anticipated this memorable ceremony to take place. And our cohort has been referred to as the chosen ones and unique as a consequence of this pandemic, except we all know that this is not entirely the truth. Our cohort didn't acquire, but rather refined our already existing attitudes of survivorship. As Students' Union President, I want to take a moment to congratulate my class for their achievements that go beyond last summer, and however small. It's our lived experience that keeps me pushing to represent the student voice every single day in my role, so that we learn as an institution from the class of 2020 to provide the best possible experience for those to come. Now, it's time for you to move on to your next adventure. Whatever the future holds, I hope you will always remember your time at the University of Brighton with great happiness and pride, and that you take the time to enjoy the journey on the way. We will now return to the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Deborah Humphreys, to conclude these proceedings. Congratulations once again. It's now my duty to draw the ceremony to a close. I'd like to do so by drawing on some words from the late great Professor Sir Stephen Hawking. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Sound advice for you all to remember as you embark on the next stage of your journey. On behalf of us all at the University of Brighton, I congratulate you on your achievements and invite you to keep in touch with us and the friends that you've made here. Thank you. Well done. Good luck. Thank you.